Xander, that wig looks fantastic. No, it doesn't. I'm not wearing this thing. Yes, there's you can no wear way that. I'm going to wear this. But it's so festive. You look I, good. You know what? You can wear the wig. I'm not. But you look such the lady killer in that. No, wig. no. I am a professional actor here, and I'm not wearing this wig. I was in Othello, for God's sakes. I'm not wearing the wig. Well, so nope. speaks. Uh, well, are you going to vaporize me if I make you wear it? Yes, and then I'll take over the show, and it'll be the Xander show. Oh, uh, well, that solves everything. Hey, this is Crazy Mark here, and you're on a way another weekly entertainment here. You see, we were arguing it up with Xander over here, and I was walking on eggshells. But you I managed close to get this away time. unscathed. What? So you came close this time, Mark. Ah, uh, he's serving me the ultimatum. The Xander ultimatum. Oh, I'm frightened. Oh. But this week, we've got a special extraordinary guest on the show. We've got none other than Mr. Chainsaw himself. You Ooh. may have seen him at the Barn of Blood. It's Mr. Josh right here. What's up there, Mr. Josh? How are you? How are you? I'm very fine. Well, I'm yeah. happy to be here. Well, we're happy to have you here. Now, I'll tell you something. You, you know, I remember those days you working over there at the Barn of Blood and everything and frightening everybody to with an inch of their lives with that massive chainsaw routine you had going on. I mean, is it true Barn of Blood is closed this year? Yes, yes, they are closed for remodeling this year uh, with hopes to be back open again this, next year with uh, new and improved. Ah, uh, new and oh. approved, right. Even yes, scarier. Sir. And even scarier if that's possible. Because oh, it's always possible. If I remember correctly, there were several people who lost their lives at the Barn of Blood. Wow. Yep, yep. Uh, we got them up in the freezer room, up in them body bags. Uh, don't ever let anybody say <laughs> that we warned you or didn't warn you, whichever way that goes. Well, beware. Oh, very much so. And if you thought Xander would vaporize you, you got to look out for the barn of blood. Nah. But that's next year, you know. Um, but tell us here, what else is going on with Chainsaw Man these days, Mr. Josh? Well, Chainsaw Man is uh, working on a few different things. I'm uh, opening up for uh, trying to get uh, Chainsaw Man films going. Oh, cool. Actually, I'm going to do a video of uh, the barn of blood. Entitled, Ooh. entitled the Barn of Blood. Barn of Blood. <laughs> Sounds scary. Yeah, where, where, where? Some people. There's, there's going to be a girl that goes through the haunted house as a guest, and basically we're going to take her through, and and she's going to go through the haunted house as the haunted house is working. And does she make it out alive? I don't know. Mm. We'll have to see on the barn of blood. It always seems there's a pretty girl always involved, you know, doing, yeah. doing something in horror and terror. And she always falls down and screams. Is she a good screamer? Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, and she always yeah. seems to end up in the shower, too, at some point. <laughs> well, we don't have a shower at the barn okay. of blood. Oh, uh, all right. You know, we, Xander, we do have a, a, a washing so we can wash the meat out, you know what I mean? Because oh. we have to tenderize everything. You know. Wow. Uh, Xander likes his food clean, I guess. Yes, yeah. <laughs> he washes it off. But Important to tenderize. Ah, tenderizing. That's a good thing. But now, tell me, I've heard some voice in the wind, some haunting ghost telling me that there's something going on at the Pumpkin Factory down near Belleville. Yes, tell us about it. Yes, yes, yes. It's uh, the Nightmare on Harris Street, actually. Um, uh, I done the Pumpkin Factory a couple years ago and worked out there myself. And uh, this year they're opening up a, uh, a haunted attraction, and along with the uh, haunted hayride as well. But uh, it plans on. It looks like it's going to be really good. They're going to have a lot of clowns out there. Oh, oh clowns. clowns! Hey, Mark, that's right up your alley. Uh, creepy clowns. That's always a good thing around yeah. the great days of how. Halloween, yeah. <laughs> and as you know, folks out there in the weekly entertainment audience, the days of Halloween are now in full swing, and they go all the way to the 31st. Wow. So, yes, Xander. It's going to be Halloween all month. Yes, indeed, and we're going to milk this all the way to the very end like a gigantosaurus cow. <laughs> yeah. A what? A gigantosaurus cow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't have you, you ever seen a gigantosaurus cow? No. Xander is missing out. <laughs> Anywho, Mr. Josh. Yes, sir. 
What's going on with this closed casket production? Closed casket productions, yes. Um, basically, that's going to also include uh, my Chainsaw Man films. But we are going to uh, make productions of uh, uh, haunted house props, mask making. We have future plans for all these in store. This sounds huge. This is going to be very huge. Rightfully mm -hmm. huge. Yes, sir. We would like to uh, uh, hopefully uh, make different props designs for uh, and supply different uh, haunted houses. Wow. That's fantastic. I'm telling you, I'm sure there's a lot of peeps out there looking for a great supplier of some spookorama props and haunts, you know, those kind of things. Now, tell us there, Mr. Josh, is there anywhere peeps can get a hold of you, like a Facebook or something like that? Yes, where sir. They can say, hey, we like your stuff. Yep, and you, we want to. You can go to uh, Facebook uh, slash Chainsaw Man 79 or Closed Casket. Or, uh, oh, uh, Barn of Blood, I see it right there. You can go to the Barn right, of Blood, right, yes, there sir. It is, right there. Yeah, closed casket, I see it right there. Yeah. It's, it's that thing. Yeah. yeah. And okay. also, um, MorningsideSanitarium.com. I, I, I do a haunted, uh, every, every year I go out there for Halloween and uh, go to my buddy Tom Smith's place and I dress up and play the character Leatherface Chainsaw Man. Yes! The Mighty oh. Chainsaw Man. Ooh. Ooh, that's amazing. Which, uh, without my fans, uh, really, I mean, you know, the, the, they made what Chainsaw Man is uh, out there. It's, you know, it's it's really a local legend, I guess. Um, they they line up. They, I take pictures and and all that good stuff. I love my fan base. Man, I heard you have a fan with you right now. Yes, I do. Oh, let's see what we got going on. His name's Doctor Death. Doctor Death. I think I have some competition brought. here. Uh, that what? I think I have some competition here. Uh oh, <laughs> it's happening during the days of Halloween here on Weekly Entertainment. Yes. Oh, now where did this guy happen along to? I mean, where'd you find it? Well, he came out from the graveyard, out from the uh, the Morningside Sanitarium out there in uh, Taylor, Michigan, and uh, he come by and he just wanted to say hi. And uh, he wanted to give everybody a good spook this morning. Well, I'll tell you what. Great thing during the days of Halloween here on Weekly <laughs> Entertainment. Oh, Xander, you yes. don't have to worry too much because they, these usually come and go. And I don't see too much flesh on the bone where you've got plenty of fur on the bone. Yeah, I've got, uh, I plan to get even more with all the candy I'm looking forward to. I mean, what is what is the longevity of uh, of an alien like you from the Horsehead Nebula? Well, I'm 300 years old already, so. Wow, that's you know. a long. That's a long. That's He's a, been that's around. Old, huh? Yeah. He's been there, done that, and eaten that as well. Yeah, wow. I've conquered a lot of planets and uh, a lot of uh, mm. humans, so. That could that's, be a rough thing. Whoa. That scares Chainsaw Man. <laughs> well, good. Hey, I, you know, I, I'm doing my job. It's not very much that scares Chainsaw Man, but that, that, that <laughs> no, frightens me. Tell us more about uh, Chainsaw Man. Like, well, what does he do exactly? Well, Chainsaw Man, uh, basically, uh, I, I work in, normally I work in the haunted house, and uh, I wait for everybody to come around at the end, and and I terrorize them with my chainsaw. Ooh. Uh, I, I, uh, I've uh, always watched uh, uh, the movies with uh, Leatherface and such, and, and um, I, I've, I've always picked up uh, a good vibe from uh, doing that, and I love Halloween. It's, now, it's just my thing. Is it, is it true that you met Gunnar Hansen? Yes, sir. Wow. I met Gunnar oh. Hansen, the original uh, Texas uh, Chainsaw Massacre uh, Leatherface uh, last year at... Uh, in, ho in Ohio at the Horror Hound Convention. And um, I was able to meet him, meet and greet, and he actually signed one of my leather face masks made by Tom Smith at MorningsideSanitarium.com. Oh, oh, sweet. Impressive. Now, are you sure you're not just a cook? No. <laughs> no, sir. Hey, are you in the mood for some roast beef? I mean, uh, barbecue beef there, Xander? Uh, well, it's kind of early for that. Uh, uh, I just well, had some donuts. That's all has to do with Texas Chainsaw. <laughs> We're going to be like throwing phrases back and forth now about Chainsaw Massacre. You know? <laughs> See, I you never know, saw by, that By movie. the way, you know, I might take a photo of one of you here today and sure. charge you two bucks for it. Was it two bucks? Two bucks. Yeah, two bucks. <laughs> Beware of people taking your photo $2. and charging 
two dollars right. for that photo. I like your picture. It's a nice picture. <laughs> it is a nice picture. <laughs> now, we're looking around the area. You know, Barn of Blood closed for remodeling. What do you think, aside from, of course, the, uh, what's it, the pumpkin, morning, morning, morning side, pump, pumpkin factory and morning pump. side, what other haunts do you see high on the list, the mom oh, and pop haunts? Let's see here. Well, there is always the Huron Turkey Farm. Wait, that Ooh. is the, uh, what is it, the uh, Huron Turkey Farm? Or on Sibley. They, they, yeah, on Sibley Road. It's, it's like, it's the uh, Twisted Realm of Mines or something like that. The realm of, the realm of Twisted Mines, I think it is. Yeah. And uh, what else? Let's see, we got uh, Wired's Orchard in Ypsilanti. You know, Wired's, I'll tell you, they're pretty huge, you know? They are huge. They have a lot of haunts out there. I've always enjoyed kind of going out there with the family and, and uh, having a good time. Now, Wired's is, I mean, like I said, you've got to pull out a lot of bucks to go there are there any like a little bit more within my my price range because back there in the jungle are, yeah. all i have to do is like trade maybe snakeheads and you know some right, dung beetles right, right, right. and i've got a couple let's see uh, we got the extreme scream on telegraph road over by 94 on uh right by in that plaza in that shopping so they're back there. the extreme scream is back yeah oh, cool. they've been around for a long i mean they changed location and then they came back i think yes it's where do you still have to crawl on your knees to go through a, a yeah, yep. claustrophobic thing? Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, the sir. extreme scream, folks, that is claustrophobia deluxe. You know, if you love claustrophobia, if you want to bring somebody along that you know is going to freak in air and walk areas that are just this wide where you have to hold your breath, wow. well, that is the extreme scream. Yep. OMG. <laughs> What's another place there, Mr. Drew? Well, let's see. We we uh, we got the terrified forest. Terrified in Hell, forest. Michigan. The terrified forest in where? Hell, Michigan. You mean they actually Ooh. have a haunted air forest? It's, it's actually a walkthrough, and I plan on going there this year. Whoa! I've already been to Hell once, <laughs> and I got back, but it was for the um, Run Woodstock, which is, by the way, a really cool thing. Lemon James performed there. Mm. She is our Michigan's very own girl, Jimi Hendrix, that can play guitar with her teeth behind her head any which way you want to. And she makes that guitar well. LemonJames.com, folks. She's awesome. Oh, I hear in the air that we're going to get some video coming up soon. A video? Informa yeah, information oh, on cool. autism awareness, That's folks. very important. Yes, did you know that some of the world's best genius are autistic? That's right. Yes. And you know, it, it's it's something that even I, it, it's one of those things, It's it, well, you watch the series and you find out because, I mean, I might even be, because I think faster than I talk sometimes. I don't know. It's one of those things. So, Xander. Yes. Before we go into this video. Okay. Have, have, have you um, been uh, vaporizing anybody lately? Uh, no, not really. Oh. Um, I've been kind of busy lately, you know, with all the crop circles and all the, uh, uh, you, know, you know, I'm building an undersea base right now and over, you know, because I'm going to overthrow uh, the sea life as well as the human life on this planet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, 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 I've, I've been kind of busy lately. Well, knowing that. And you know that as well. You stay right here with Weekly Entertainment. We'll be right back after this video. Stay tuned. Yeah. Just a quick update on the series starting next week. We are looking forward to starting the autism thing next week. So stay tuned for that next four weeks. And, uh, we'll see. and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be next week for the autism. Well, we're back here with Weekly Entertainment in the weeks of Halloween. Oh, yeah, of course, on today's show, we have Satan Saw Man himself, Mr. Josh, right here. Yes, indeed. He's been laying down the law of haunts right here on the show. And uh, wait, it's time for our mail we've received snail mail i know it, it's over there so we're gonna reach over and grab ourselves some snail mail <laughs> oh this is my favorite part of the show yeah. is the viewer mail yeah viewer mail 
Here we go. I always look forward to this. It always arrives in complete eight and a half by 11 form, not in your typical envelope. And there we go. As, as a matter of fact, and we got to check our sound here because our caveman outfit these days is kind of uh, giving us the spiel. Okay, there it is. Now people can hear me out there. And it says here, oh, Crazy Mark. I'm Crazy Mark, by the way. You know, your show is growing really huge these days. How do you handle all the technicalities, uh, people who might be expressing some concern with the show? Well, I'll tell you what there, and this comes from um, Susan out there. Susan, we've taken it into our great consideration to bring on some real corporate assistance, and that's why we now have an HR department. Yes, indeed. Oh, we do? Yes, we do. We oh. now have an HR department. I didn't get the memo. Well, but this is the memo right now. Oh. Don't you know how they do it last minute? Let me introduce <laughs> you to our HR department. Oh. Yeah, it's, uh. we, we have decided to hire HR in a box. HR in a box. So well, that's an interesting yeah, invention. Yeah, so ask a question here. Ask a question, Xander. Uh, <clears throat> um, HR in a box. Um, is there any way that uh, I can get a raise? <laughs> yeah, that's well, that was rude. <laughs> well, that's well, H. That's all part of HR. Hey, you know what? Why don't you ask a question here? There's something going on right now with the show that you might have questions about. There, Chainsaw Man, ask. Uh, Mr. HR, can I get a bigger chainsaw this year? Oh. There you go. Wow. See, right, that's not helpful thinks, at all. She thinks you're a rock star, so, you know, <laughs> you're, you're hey, kind of stuck. Hey, I with, rock. The, the budget is kind of low, and i got to ask here. Tell us here. Huh? <laughs> oh, no. I've been accused of B.O., body odor. <laughs> wow. Oh. That does it there, HR. I'm taking you straight to the bank. I believe there's a something that can be said about that. Yeah, you're going to have to call corporate. Yes, I will. I'll have to call corpulent if I have to. Anywho, we're here at a point in time where we've got to talk about family-friendly events here in Michigan, presented by Pure Michigan. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you what there, Chainsaw Man, and over there, Xander, if I hit on something and you want to comment on it, you go right ahead. So let's start off. Coming up this week of 928 and 929 here in New Boston, we have the Huron Township Apple Fest. Oh. Love the Apple Fest. Love it. Um, you know, obviously, Apple Charlie's going down there and being on uh, with the Barn of Blood. That's a big thing for them guys. So it's going to be pretty busy down there this, Always is. this uh, weekend coming up. Okay, great. Oh, and I love uh, Apple Charlie's. They have some great, great donuts. Yeah. So, okay, you're so into consuming humans, and now all of a sudden you've gone pro-donut. What's going on here? Well, you know, I like sweets every now and then. Uh, you know, human flesh uh, does get kind of, you know, boring after a while. You know, one person can't eat, uh, you know, like, like you guys can't eat hamburgers every single day. That's true. Or pizza. Well, pizza. Well, pizza can. That, that's a staple in the food group, don't you know? Well, pizza, you know, you have your fruits, vegetables, pizza. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's All the food groups thing. wrapped up in one. Oh, oh, yes, it is. Oh, looky here, down in Celine. We have the Harvest of the Arts and an Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, where's yes, that at? That's in Celine. It's coming up on September 28th and 29th. So if you want to pack up and head on over to Celine, we have an Oktoberfest going on. So it's uh, September Fest. Yeah, it's, it's Oktoberfest in Celine. And that's <laughs> September 28th and September 29th. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I'll check that out. Yes, indeed. Novi. Okay. If you're into threads, you're into sewing, you're into threads, hey, it's the American Sewing Expo in Novi. So, you know, that's pretty family friendly if you want to get the kids together and go up, you know. You might even get a lot of ideas for Halloween costumes over at the Sewing Expo. And Chainsaw Man knows about sewing, considering we do um, that leather face mask. Ooh. We gotta get them new fresh bodies and make new faces for me. 
Ah, uh, this comes from experience from the Barn of Blood. Of oh, yes. Right. Yeah. I know all about fabric. Hey, Clinton Township, folks Clinton. up there, Clinton Township. On September 28th. I did not have relations with that woman. What? Uh, uh, yo, Sandra <laughs> does impressions too. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I've been uh, working on that one. Just an all of, oh, okay. Maybe you should run for president. Oh, no. I I'll don't vote for you. There. I'll vote for you too. Oh, well, th well I'm just going to overthrow you guys anyway, so it's, I'm going to be in charge in the end. Wait, wait, wait. As long as I can be, <laughs> as long as I can be vice president. Call vice joint overlord? Chiefs, huh? <laughs> Chainsaw man, joint chiefs. Well, but, you're in charge of the Defense Department. All right, on. I okay. like that. I like that thought. There we go. You hear it here from our new form of government taking over here. But anywho, I'm not going to take care of the paperwork or the Pentagon or anything like that. In Clinton, once again, Clinton Township is the Clinton Fall Festival 2012, September 28th through September 30th. A good time going on up there. Oh, yeah. We've got some other great stuff going on here. Let's take a look. Now in Detroit on September 29th, around midnight, Ooh. mark your calendars because it is the incredible journey to midnight. Journey to midnight? Yes, what this is, it's the Detroit Underground Railroad Lantern Tour. Wow. So aside from going through history and reliving history, you may also encounter spiritual activity going on there. Oh, wow, that's you know, cool. See, ghosts aren't just limited to like Casper or something that jumps out and scares you or something like that. There are also elements caught in time. Hmm. And what you tend to see aren't ghosts, but in a form of holography, a natural holography, where you see history replayed in time. Have you ever seen anything like that? No, well, sir. You haven't? It is, it changes your life after you see something like that. It has nothing to do with liquor. So, <laughs> moving on, we have over here in, well, let's see here. We're moving down our list. We want to keep it close to home so that uh, we don't send you out to West Branch or Traverse City or anywhere like that, okay? Um, hey, wait a minute, in Detroit. Hey, we're having Detroit Restaurant Week from September 28th through October the 7th. Ooh, that sounds mm. like fun. Supposedly, special deals are taking place to go out and check out the foods around the area, besides just pizza. Oh, we've got, oh, over here in, 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 we're looking through here, Williamston. Where is Williamston? I don't know where it is, but their, their Trail of Terror opens up on September the 30th. We're looking through here in New Haven. I believe that's the other side of the state, but they have a haunted farm that's opening up over there. A haunted farm? Yeah, if you want to travel all the way over there. And by the way, folks, all the way up till the end of September, the 29th is the last day to make your road trip to Cola, Michigan for free magic days. Ooh. And remember September 30th, last day of the Ren Fest, to go out there and walk around with a fake British accent and a turkey oh, leg. Oh, a turkey leg. A fake accent. Would you like right. soup in a bread bowl, Chainsaw Lord? Chainsaw Man, Chainsaw Man makes some dis ma uh, does magic tricks, too. He makes them disappear. Ooh. I, I, I thought he makes, like, parts of bodies disappear. Like, my head, makes their heads disappear. Uh, Henry VIII, you know, Chainsaw, Henry the Eighth Man, he is, he is. Oh, and taking a look here, what we else we got going on in the area? Holy cow. While I'm looking, I'm finding all this information here that's most likely concentrated in this area. I want to remind everybody once again out there in weekly entertainment land that uh, we have our series on autism awareness oh. coming up in October. So watch that and all the um, ideas or myths regarding autism will be dispelled. You'll get a firmer understanding of what autism is. Okay, now let's see here. Something else that's uh, happening, Inside Out. That's the girl band. The all-girl band, the first girl band that went across over into Russia back when they had that big Berlin Wall. The first girl punk band to make it over there. They're having a reunion on Saturday night. 
September 29th at Smalls down in Hamtramck. The place will be packed and you'll see history in the making. All right, and as we wrap up our show here, we're coming down to the last few minutes. Mr. Chainsaw Man Josh, do you have any uh, last closing thoughts here regarding the haunts of Halloween? I hope everybody has an entertaining and fun Halloween season. I hope you go out and enjoy yourselves, and I hope that all the kids stay safe when you're out trick-or-treating and watch for them cars and check your candy. That's so true. And where can they go to check you out online again? They can go check me out at Facebook slash Chainsaw Man 79. You can go to the Barn of Blood or you can go to MorningSideSanitarium.com where there's Halloween videos of the present and past of uh, which include me and uh, my friends and out there that are mask makers and uh, Tom Smith, he's a very good guy. Uh, check him out, MorningSideSanitarium.com. Very good. That is most excellent. And I know we're going to be seeing more of you around town. It's going to be an awesome thing. And I just wanted to say one more thing here. Uh, is that uh, what, what? Yeah, I brought lunch. Well, we got lunch here on Weekly Entertainment. And as we wrap up this show here, this is a crazy mark for Mr. Chainsaw and Xander over there. That was a pleasure. Yeah, and we're going to go, we're going to go surfing now. So Woo! we'll check you out next week. And I'm going to take my, what well, you know, I'm going to get Chainsaw Man with my pizza. <laughs> yeah, there it is. And I'm going to grab my board and we're going to rock and roll on out of here. So everyone... Stay there. Watch us again next week. Check us out on our website for weekly entertainment. And we'll see you again. Remember, weekly Good entertainment. Night. Go there. Go to the website. And uh, there it is. Yeah, there it is right there. Facebook.com weekly entertainment. And be on the show. Whoa, I'm Crazy Mark. And I'm so out of here.